Hello, welcome to this Mindset Mastery video series. Now we're going to move on to mastering the energies of your body is starting to master the energies of your mind. So the energies of your body, what exactly do you mean? If you think about our physical body, right? Physical body, you've got your eyes to see, we accept that. We've got our nose to smell, accept that. We've got our tongue to taste, we accept that. We hear, we can touch, we can feel. We assimilate food for energy, but we go to the heart. We associate the heart with a green color when it's negative, envy, but also we associate the heart with love. So where does that come from? What is love? Is that a tangible, touchable thing? No, it's not. But we associate the heart with heart energy. So energy is your energy body. We have an energy body as well as a physical body. And our energy body has different attributes to the different parts of that energy body. And this, once you start to crack this, you start to crack so much about your, the elements of your body. And we're going to go deeper and deeper into this as a human being, what it is, what you are as a human being and all the elements to it. But today I just want to talk about the energy body. And that's such an important concept and so many people get hung up when you use the word chakras or meridians. <laughs> woo woo! <laughs> no, when you start to work with them, which I did with a very, very skeptical mind, I will say, I started to work with them as a sound healer and I got the tuning forks tuned up to the chakras thinking, okay, I'm going to try this because somebody's recommended it to me. And I was using the tuning forks over the chakras. And it was just incredible. When they were underperforming, it went You could hear the tone go down. And when they were over, active, it And I would do this tuning, bring them back into balance with the tuning forks, which was incredible in itself. Some, some of the people that had to really work hard, you know, trying to get that frequency into the chakra. And then I would speak to them afterwards without commenting on saying anything what was happening in their life and say that if they were having a, a problem with a one-to-one -one relationship or a friendship they would have problems with their second chakra and like oh my goodness me and if you had having someone having a problem in their community they'd be having a problem with their first chakra because they're not connected to the community or they feel that the community is um, not as peaceful as it should be there was a lady who came to me she was actually demonstrating, after I'd done the work on the lower chakra, she was demonstrating to stop uh, a piece of green land being turned into flats. She was that adamant, and she was quite elderly. She was quite adamant that, to protect her environment, and, and her root chakra was not, it was underactive. So she, it became into balance. She realized I had to do so, she had to do something about what was happening. She did that. So this is how I found out about the chakra system. I could go on but I will talk about the chakra system in a minute. But we also have meridian lines, which are now scientifically proven to exist because they put radioactive isotopes into the body and watched these isotopes go down the meridian lines. And it's exactly how our Eastern brothers and sisters drew them thousands and thousands of years ago. They're exactly the same. It's incredible stuff. So we have 365 acupressure points in our body, roughly, probably more but 365 makes it easier to, to remember because you think 365 days in the year. We have 12 major outside meridian lines which are connected to your 12 organs and I teach those in my Qigong classes on, at the Bright Beans Academy so you can stretch out all those meridian lines. You feel really light afterwards, it feels wonderful, it feels great. Uh, you have seven chakras coming up your central channel and a lot of people into this alternative healing will say you've got many more but th these are the main ones the seven chakras so you've got the root chakra as I say it's to do with your community and your connection to the earth and human beings are becoming very very disconnected to the earth and that needs to come back because we're part of this earth much the same as our biome our gut biome is we have bacteria in there that is not part of this physical structure but if it wasn't there we'd be dead I, we can't say the same for the earth if we weren't here that the earth would die but we are an intrinsic part of the energies of the earth when you start to get into energies so that helps you connect with the earth more your, your root chakra your second chakra 
is to do with your one-to-one -one relationships, your friendships, whatever you're doing as a one-to-one -one thing, even with your pet, your, root sh your, your second chakra will be part of that. Your third chakra is a sense of I am. Some people call it the first brain now in the new age movement i.e. it's your sense of self, it also gives you the willpower. So that if that's under achieving, you won't have the willpower to produce the life that you want. So that needs to be balanced, brought up, made stronger. So most of us are caught in the lower three chakras and then we come into the heart. So if the heart is overachieving, you become the clown, you want to people please all the time, you're going around trying to be friendly with everybody and it's exhausting or the opposite, you, you draw in and you can't take any more of this emotional stuff from anybody else and you draw in so your heart chakra will reduce in energy. And I find many people, both empaths whose heart goes out too much and they come back in because they can't take it anymore. So that needs to come into balance and it comes into the throat chakra where you want to be able to communicate clearly what you're talking about. And this can be overactive if you talk too much or underactive if you don't talk enough or you can't express exactly what you're trying to say. That's where the throat chakra is really in its element, especially when it's connected with the heart and the, other th the lower three chakras, you can really be coherent with what you're talking about. And then you've got the gateway from, the, from here all the way up to the third eye chakra, which is where your intuition, vision, and natural wisdom come from. We talked about that earlier. In, an, in another video with the energy coming in and out when we respond rather than react to life. This is where this comes into its element. So we, get, we, we gain that vision to navigate around this very difficult world. We have insight to what we're doing, what's happening out in the world as well, and we can start to navigate around that. But we have the natural wisdom coming in so that it helps us to realize our profound purpose and why we are here on this earth, what actually really makes you happy. And deep down, most people, I would say, what makes them happy is serving other people, not taking, grabbing, trying to be recognized and all this kind of business, serving other people. If you think about it, if you serve one million people, you'll get one million digits of money coming back to you. It's as simple as that. Rather than looking to grab one million digits of money out there, you will get one million people coming back to you because you're serving them and you will get that in abundance. That's how it works. So, and then you have your crown chakra, which they call in my practice, it's called the heaven's gate, where that, all this heavy, all this beautiful, he, beautiful light energy comes into your body and you can feel light, soft, which is what Qigong is all about. Moving the body with beautiful energy, like a swan floating down the river. So it's connecting with your energy body. The energy body is really important and it's just as important as your physical body. So they're the seven elements, the seven chakras of your energy body. They're like the main stations. If you think of your body as the country, they're the main stations of the country. Your meridian lines are like the train tracks out to the acupressure points, which are like the little towns and villages all over your country. So your energy body is pushing energy out into your energy, sort of your chakras are pushing energy out into the rest of your body. That's why when you tap your body, if you're tapping your body, you're strengthening your bones, you're increasing your bone marrow production, which is good for your blood, but also really important, you're stimulating your mitochondria, which is where new energy comes into the body. So you tap this, if you tap all over the body, do an all over body tapping, tapping session, you feel tingly and revived. Why is that? Because you're bringing new energy into the body. This is how it works. This is how the body works. We, there's, there's more to it than this but this is a very quick breakdown on it. So mastering the energies of your body will help you master your mind to take you into the place where you want to go. Yeah? If you want to go deep on this, I do this in the dream method. This is all part of the dream method, the online course and coaching business that I run on online. It's called the Bright Beings Academy. You can click the link below, take you through to a webinar explaining the five steps that the dream method is. And you can see that, see if it's going to work for you. If it does, then you can contact me and we can talk about it further, see how it can help you. Okay? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, be well, keep shining.